When you need advice, come to Ben and Kelly. It's group therapy on 99.7 DJX. Olivia, in quotes, reached out. Hey, Ben and Kelly, I'm hoping you can shed a little perspective, maybe some help at the same time. Mm -hmm. My best friend and I have known each other since our teens, almost 20 years now. Mm. She and her husband have two kids, a seven-year-old girl and a four-year-old boy. My two-year-old daughter loves playing with her kids when we get together, but lately there's been a big issue starting to arise. Her son's behavior is atrocious. Yeah. He's mean, aggressive to my daughter, shoving her, snatching toys out of her hands. And my friend never corrects him or makes him apologize. And mm. if I say something, I get the evil eye for daring to say something to her kid. Just yesterday, while playing at the park, he threw my daughter's toy into a tree. Oh. I walked over and said, that wasn't nice. You need to apologize, please. He started to cry so hysterically, you would have thought I slapped him. <laughs> So what should I do? She's kind of sensitive to any sort of criticism. Thanks so much. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, and if you are a parent, you never want you never want anyone disciplining your kid. Your kid. Yeah. Yeah. Um But you I also have always wanted to know if my kid yeah, is doing something right. that needs to be That's true. disciplined, then please tell me. That is true. You are And I'll exactly take care right. of it for are, sure. So Okay, so she knows her friend is sensitive. So maybe she starts it like that, hey, I know you're I know you're sensitive. I know you're sensitive <laughs> to these things. But your kid's a jerk. I, I well, but you don't you don't say it like that. But 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 if she's your bestie, if she's your friend for twenty years, you should be able to have a a level of rawness with her. Yeah. Well, and the fact that I mean, we're talking about a two year old getting bullied by a four year old, you know, and if he's shoving her down and snatching toys out of her hand, and I mean, the fact that her bestie doesn't seem to feel like that behavior warrants any sort of correction is a little mm. troubling like it sounds like she has tried to you know address it with her yeah and she's just not doing anything about it i guess just blowing it off like well, kids are going to be kids yeah i mean there are people that are already texting and rolling in saying well just don't let your kid play with their kid anymore well okay that is sure but that can be difficult when you want to spend time with your bestie. And because it, I feel like with, with young kids like that, yeah. you got to bring the kids with you. Well, is she not seeing this behavior right in front of her eyes? It sounds like she is and not doing anything about it. And that's the problem. Like, how do you make her do something about it? Yeah. Well. Without like putting a rift in the friendship. But I, you know, I, again, well, you, I, I don't relate to how in the world as a mother do you not want to know? When your kids are acting up so well, that you can correct it. If it's in the moment, if it's in the moment and, um, you know, you can look at her and be like, you know, kind of like gesture like, hey, hey, my kid's toy in the tree. Yeah. Yeah. Like, hey, this is happening. And then if she's still not getting it, pull her aside and say, hey, like, I, I'm going to say something if you don't, because right. this isn't this isn't right. So maybe again, it's another like in the moment sort of thing. Yes. I, I yeah, I feel like you can't just confront her with a laundry list of, oh, hey, remember this time? Yeah, and this right, time your kid right, did this and this right. time your kid did this because she'll get very defensive. But I think, yeah, she needs to get, I, I think, a little bit more adamant in these moments that you need to handle your child. Yeah, Kate rolls in on Facebook, says, I would tell your friend, either she addresses her son's behavior or they're not going to be able to play together anymore because, uh, and then she says, my best friend of almost 20 years and I have children of the same age. We correct them when we need to. We also know that we would light someone on fire for messing with our kids too. So, you know, I, I think... You know, Kate's kind of saying the same thing that we were like, you got to be able to say something to your friend. Right. So well, it, that's it, where it starts. I understand, too. It can be as they get older, it can get to a point where maybe the kids don't mesh mm. as well. And then you have to acknowledge that, too, that maybe like forcing play dates because you want to hang out with the mom is not the best idea either if they're not gelling. And it sounds like, you know, for the two-year-old, it's not going, it's not working out so well right Right now. Right. All right. Well, Olivia, there have been several suggestions. If you have one, feel free to uh, post it up on our Facebook page. We've um, um, posted it up there, at Ben and Kelly Show uh, on 99.7 DJX. And hopefully this helps.
Yeah. yeah, we just got another text. Some moms are so blind to their kids' wrongdoings that they literally need to be told, hey, your kid does things wrong and the behavior needs to be changed before our kids can hang out again. Yeah. It may need to be that blind. That, that, that may need to take place. So, all right. Well, hey, good luck with that and keep us posted.